So was the Chicago Fair the same place that H.H. H. Holmes was building his murder castle in? Pretty much anyone is probably going to be confused by that statement, so please allow me to kind of explain this story so people understand what I'm talking about. H.H. H. Holmes is the guy who is regarded as America's first serial killer, with some estimates putting his body count up to 200 people. And according to the newspapers of the time, he had a murder castle that was outfitted with all kinds of secret chambers. We're talking trap doors, a dungeon which he could torture people in, gas lines running directly into rooms so that he could asphyxiate people. But while all of this is some of the most commonly cited stuff regarding the murder castle, we have to understand that at the time that all of this stuff was being written about, this was being done in newspapers that were trying to sensationalize things specifically in order to draw more people's attention towards their publication. It is very unlikely that H.H. H. Holmes ever murdered 200 people. In fact, of the 27 people that he confessed to killing, several were actually found to still be alive. He was a con man and a murderer, but not to the degree that people give him credit for. 